Hello, everyone. Kevin Stevenson here with Phase Logics. You can find us at getmethegeek.com, where we provide IT services for small and medium sized businesses. Today, we're going to be looking at removing a node from a Proxmox cluster. Let's, let's get started. All right. So, over here, you're going to see this is my uh, Proxmox cluster I have set up here. And I have a PV1 and PV2. Today, we're going to remove PV1 um completely from the cluster what i what i'm going to do with that machine is i'm going to take it offline and i'm going to completely rebuild it as an ssd storage proxmox i've already did that with pv2 and so now we're going to upgrade pv1 in order to do that you've got to completely remove it from the cluster because i'm going to override it completely and and i am um, in a previous video i showed you how to copy uh, migrate VMs from one Proxmox node to another live. And so if you haven't seen that video, maybe check it out. I'll provide a link in the show notes and possibly in this uh, video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is pull up an SSH tunnel. And I've got that here. So I'm just using Putty on my Windows machine and I've SSH'd into uh, PV2. And one of the things we wanna do, the first thing to do is just check out the nodes. So PVECM nodes and, and it will show you the nodes in your cluster. Uh, node one and node two there. Node one is the one we're actually getting rid of. So the next thing we're gonna do is shut down node one completely and to do that by going over here in our web browser where we've logged into the cluster and click on pv1 and then go over here to the shutdown button and click shut down it's going to ask you conf confirmation so we're going to hit yes and that's going to take that cluster uh, that that computer and just shut it down completely it doesn't take a whole long time to do that, uh, especially considering that I don't have any VMs or anything running on that machine anymore. So it, it should shut off pretty quick. And there you go. She's down. So now, since that guy's removed, we want to, you know, just a couple notes about that. You don't want to, you don't want to bring this guy back up later after you've removed it from the cluster um, unchanged and everything because that'll cause all kinds of havoc. So when you do this sort of operation and you remove it, you want to make sure that that machine that you took offline is going to be a machine that you're going to completely wipe and redo. Otherwise, you'll run into some issues. So we're going to do this. Delete node. So PVE CM L node. And then the name of the node that you're your uh, removing, which happens to be PVE1. And, uh oh, an error has occurred. And what, what this is, is the cluster is not ready, there's no quorum. And the reason why that is, is because it's expecting each node in the cluster to have a vote and it's freaking out because, hey, I can't do this operation because there's no votes. So we're gonna try to change that PVCM. And we'll try this command here. PVCM expected one. And boom. So it accepted that command. We'll see if we can go back and do that delete node now. And it's doing it. And boom, node deleted. So let's just go back here real quick and and look at the PV nodes, and it's going to just show one with the node ID of two. So now we're going to take a look at a file. So ls l slash etc pve nodes. And it doesn't exist. Hmm, okay. 
Let's just go over that real quick. C U E uh C D nodes. Ah, look in there. So we got uh PV one and PV two in there. Um so basically we're gonna end up needing to remove the one um PV one that was in there in order to fix this problem. <clears throat> Okay, so what we have here is in this directory is a list of all the nodes that are inspected in the, the uh, cluster. Now, if you notice over here in my GUI, we still see PV1 in there. So even when I refresh that, whoop, there it's gone. So if I look at that, it's all gone. But if I go down here in this nodes folder, that's, that PV2 is still there. So we want to get rid of that so that uh, it doesn't cause any problems. So I am just going to copy it off to a different location. All right, so that just moved it, and we're gonna move it, and you're gonna see. Um, oh, sorry, my bad. Helps when you go to the right directory, and then you'll see that there PV one. So that's LL. So 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 that's actually a directory, and we'll go to the PV one directory allows and it's just a bunch of stuff in there that's not really relevant but i didn't want to delete it just off the bat just in case i need to do something so basically that's all there is to it so what i'm going to do is uh check a couple things make sure it's online so you, you notice that uh in the gui it's gone uh, it just shows up with the first one and all the VMs that are running on there. You know, I had NFS store, which is connected um, and things like that. And then cluster it only shows one in there. ID of two, one vote. Um, well, just just real quick, I'm just going to do one little operation here. So I'm going to go into this uh, free NAS NFS store that I have here. And this uh, QMU uh, 106 VM is not something I need. So I'm just going to remove it and check for errors so i think that uh, worked just fine so if you notice i think it's gone so we got a couple of them here and i don't need these because this vm that was uh i used for testing and i'm just going to delete it so yes and yes and if there was a problem with the cluster it would have popped up an error there um and we would have known that we had some issues. Just, that's happened to be one way that I was just going to test to make sure, hey, things would look like they're working correctly. You go to the summary of um, the, you know, the cluster information, you go to the summary, everything looks good, no offline machines, um, everything's great. So that's how you do it. Removing a node from a Proxmox cluster is pretty straightforward. That's all I have for you today. Visit us next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, just give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications. If you want to hire us for a project, head over to GetMeTheGeek.com where we offer business IT solutions. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.